Yo, Snapchat. So I don't think I've done a specific video on Amazon Echo and conversational user interfaces and this idea of just having an AI that is in all of our devices we talk to. This poor couch, what has happened? Ooh. No, where to film, where to film. You're always like actually doing these Snapchat things. I'm, I'm constantly aware of like sound and the lighting and stuff. So, okay, the beach is that way. The bush is that way. Which one do we do? Okay, so beach. Whoop. Oh hey, this is the beach. Nah, too noisy out here. Let's go back to the bush. Lush. <laughs> okay, so for those who don't know, Amazon Echo is like a um, product you, you buy. It's like a speaker, but you can talk to it. And so you can ask it questions like, Alexa, what's the time? And you can do other things like ask it, um, you know, hey, hey, Alexa, play some rock music. Or, hey, Alexa, play Nickelback. Oh, Nickelback. Oh, lovely, lovely band, that one. It's really no different to like Siri or Cortana or uh, Google Now or any of those like conversational UIs. The difference being that this thing is always listening. So it's in a little speaker that you sit in your usually like kitchen or living room. But it's been selling like hotcakes because they're really cheap. So the Amazon Echo is like a taller device. I think it's around like 150, 200 US dollars. And they have a smaller one uh, that's compact about the size of a hockey puck for $99. It's called Dot. And the Amazon team has a thousand people working just on Echo. So that's how big. They see it as a massive play for them. They see that as kind of like, you know, AI. That's, that's Amazon AI play. And Google's launching a competitor soon called Google Now. I think they announced that at their recent I.O. conference. Um, it's a similar thing, a, a speaker device that looks fancy, sits in your kitchen, you can talk to it. Now let's do all this. What the fuck is this? Kind of creepy, eh? Oh my god, it's full of tadpoles. Um, where were we? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Echo. Um, so... Basically, imagine the future of Echo is going to be AI everywhere, across every device, and just always on, always listening for any questions. So we'll start off with like one device in one room. So essentially, most people are probably putting these in their kitchen um, or in their living room, so they can the, the whole family can kind of call out and ask it any question. You know, how tall is Mount Everest? So, but now imagine there's an Echo-like device in every single room in your house, in every single room in your workplace, in every single room and environment everywhere you ever go. At some point, clearly, it's going to make more sense to move the Echo device, to move the, the speaker and the microphone closer to the individual so that it's a wearable device, a watch, glasses, earpiece, or something like that. But the way which Amazon's going about it now is really cool, because with one device, with one $99 device, you can access the entire family. So five people for 99 bucks versus five people having their own device. The other thing to realize is that Amazon actually already has a developer platform, so you can build your own apps for this device. Um, so you can take queries via a webhook, it goes to your service, you process it, you return an answer. So you know how I always talk about chatbots, but that's usually like relegated to messaging, um, like Facebook Messenger and stuff like that. This is the same thing though, but it's in a conversational UI, so you're creating your own conversational bot. Okay, so now what are the implications and where does the future go when you have always-on AI, AI that's listening to you everywhere across every device 24-7? Sounds creepy, but cool stuff will happen. Well, for starters, this will become an exponential technology that will take off faster than you could possibly imagine because with every single input and every single thing it hears and processes, it's using machine learning, so it's learning rapidly. This is why Google's able to do amazing things because every day billions of people are searching and entering uh, text queries into their box and sometimes doing voice queries, but that involves taking out your phone, pressing the button, saying it. It's, it's just... But if devices like Echo can actually encourage people and train that behavior of being okay with the, the AI listening to you nonstop and always being on and always being accessible, then you get cool data. And so then rather than having like all these different devices and all these different apps and all these different OS's and software, you literally just have one AI that's kind of like your personal AI that's listening to you across everything you do. And the more you interact with that, that AI, the more, the more questions you ask, the more queries you send its way, um, the better it gets, the more it learns, um, and the better it can service your own personal needs. It'll start becoming predictive, so as a very basic example, say music, rather than having to ask it what music to play, you know, if it knows that you had a rough day of work and you come home, it starts playing the right music just to make you happy. Like, it'll literally end up becoming the Jarvis AI from Iron Man. Um, so it'll do smart homes, you'll be able to control everything in a home, but not, not only that, you'll be able to interact with it, it'll become people's personal friends. And I actually think people will give up more of their, their privacy and their data in order to enable the features, enable the self-learning, the machine learning in these conversational UIs. I mean, it is the ultimate intuitive UI, better than apps. And so the queries are pretty obvious, like, so say you're at home, you can be like, hey, lights on, lights off, air conditioning on, uh, play the latest Game of Thrones, um, throw something on the TV, uh, buy some pizza, book an Uber, everything. And I actually noticed If This and That already has uh, hooks and, and kind of recipes and stuff for the Amazon Echo. One of them was uh, party mode to link up with a, a Hue LED light. At work, it'll be involved in every single boardroom meeting. It'll be sitting, you know, within earshot every time, listening to every conversation and helping you do your job better. 
in any group chat with friends, it'll be a, an equal party, an equal member of that conversation, you know, constantly listening, but also adding its two cents. Um, and not as like a bot, as more of a, an equal party. I mean, what we're talking about is AI bathing and, and being completely immersive in every single thing you do in your life, like from birth to death, in every environment, the entire world. And this is an inevitable trend that myself and many mates have been predicting for years. Um, a few years ago, we had this startup called Lifebox where we're using people's phones to record 24 seven audio and upload it to the cloud. I mean, you don't realize it, but every single person you see walking by has a microphone in their pocket. That microphone could be on. You don't know. <laughs> but to create these Java's like AIs, we need as much data as possible. So every single person needs to be walking around with a microphone very close to their, their mouth, recording, uploading constantly. And that will happen. <laughs> Like, trust me, that will happen, because uh, you think of like smartphones now, people are reluctant to get a smartphone, but they add so much value to people's lives now that it's kind of, you can't live without it. And so when these conversational UIs, these conversational AIs get to the point where they're, they're good enough to add so much value that people can't live without them, they won't want to, they want to always be within earshot, not just near an echo. Obviously, I prefer for that data to be decentralized and owned by yourself and kind of stored in a decentralized blob in the cloud with, with machine learning and not owned by a Google or an Amazon or a Facebook. So now I've probably ranted way too long. Uh, so what do you think? What do you think happens? What do you, what do you think will be the outcome in a world where the air around you is dense and thick with AI and intelligence at future? One day, turtle along with the little green frog. Turtle along with the little green frog. One day.